hello students today we will take fifth problem on center topic so this time again we have uh, we have an unsymmetrical composite area but uh, now what is special about this area we in this area we are given one rectangular sheet in that sheet one hole is given means this particular portion of the sheet is removed it is hollow it means when we will apply the formulas for its centroid x bar and y bar uh, we have to consider negative sign in the denominator and denominator that we will see when we will do the calculations so let us solve this problem so what he says find the centroid of the given figure all dimensions are in mm and this time we are given its x axis and y axis as well so we have to find the coordinates of its centroid that is x bar and y bar with respect to these two axes only given to us so now in this case first step is that we should uh, divide this uh, composite area into regular areas so first regular area will be this rectangular area then second regular area will be this circular area so what we will do from this rectangular area we will subtract this circular area so after find uh, after uh, identifying the regular areas the next step is we should uh, find their individual centroids so let us first talk about the centroid of this rectangular area now you see its length is uh, 350 and uh, its width is 500 so for rectangular area we know centroid lies at uh, l by 2 and b by 2 that means 350 by 2 and 500 by 2 so that will exactly lie somewhere over here that is in the center of this rectangular area fine so let me call this as g1 now we will locate the centroid of this circular area now centroid of circular area is its center so that is already located so center of the circle will be its centroid so let us label this as g2 so second step was to locate the individual centroids now third step is calculation part so in the calculation part first step is we will write area 1 so under area 1 we will do three calculations first we will do calculation for its area a1 area 1 is a rectangular area so a1 will be equal to length into width how much is the length 350 how much is the width 500 so this will be equal to 175 000 mm square now x1 what is x1 x1 is the distance of centroid of area 1 that is g1 from y axis means this distance this we have already calculated because g1 lies at l by 2 so total l is 350 so this distance is 350 by 2 that is 175 mm next is y1 what is y1 y1 is the distance of centroid of area 1 that is g1 from x axis this distance this distance we already know it is half of the total height total height is 500 so this distance will be 250 mm now after this we will do similar calculations for area 2 so we will write second step of the calculation part as area 2 so we will find its area first a2 what is a2 a2 is a circular area so area of circle circle will be pi r square what is r square dia phi 200 diameter is 200 so radius will be 100 r square so this will be equal to 31428.57 mm square next calculation will be for x2 what is x2 x2 is the distance of centroid of area 2 that is g2 from y axis means this distance and this distance is already given to us it is 150 mm what is y2 y2 is the distance of centroid of area 2 g2 from x axis means this distance and this is also labeled as 300 
now third step is calculation of x bar so x bar will be a1 x1 minus a2 x2 why because in in order to get this composite area we have to subtract this hollow portion circular area from the rectangular area so that's why minus is included in the denominator as well as in the denominator this is a very important step to understand so put the values 175 triple 0 a1 into x1 is 175 minus a2 is 3142857 into x2 is 150 divide by a1 minus a2 a1 is 175 triple 0 minus a2 is 3142857 so from here you will get value of x bar as 180.4 mm now in the fourth step we will calculate y bar so what will be y bar it will be equal to a1 y1 minus a2 y2 divided by a1 minus a2 so how much is a1 175 triple zero into y1 is 250 minus a2 is 3142857 y2 is 300 so divide by a1 minus a2 that is 175 triple zero minus 3142857 that is the value for a2 so from here we will get y bar as 239.05 mm so i hope the procedure for solving uh, unsymmetrical composite area is clear to you uh, in this case what was new new was that we were given one hollow portion in this particular rectangular sheet so in order to get the center of this composite area uh, while calculating x bar and y bar we have to include negative sign in the denominator as well as in the denominator thank you very much